Hello, hello, welcome back. In this video, we are talking about Walmart. Uh, I just uh, made a video in which I talked uh, about uh, Target and Walmart uh, comes uh, next. It's a company that uh, is a very, very well-known discount store again, and um, it's been slumping along with the rest of uh, these uh, popular discount stores. It's down about 20% in a couple of days, it reported uh, about two days ago, and it's been going down since. Uh, today, we also had Target, which is down like 27% or so, a massive miss in terms of earnings from Target, but let's see what Walmart did in this case. You will see that uh, yeah, Walmart, Home Depot, Target have all been uh, absolutely decimated here. What's happening with Walmart is what we're examining in this video. Now, the article mentions that uh, the results are at best a draw. This doesn't feel like it though, because it's down, it, Walmart is down like 20%. Revenue was uh, 142 almost billion reported. Uh, versus 138.9, which was expected, so it was better than expected. However, earnings percent were a clear miss at uh, 1.3 dollars uh, adjusted versus 1.48, which is a pretty pretty interesting decline here, more than expected, of course, significantly more. And um, as you will see here, when earnings were discussed, uh, the miss was attributable to a combination of high fuel costs, excess inventory, and elevated labor costs. It's basically the same story with uh, what we examined with Target, pretty much the same idea. We talked about Target as well in a previous video. But what we need to be doing here is uh, stay calm and see whether Walmart is an interesting opportunity for us because uh, as the economy slows down, this kind of uh, discount stores could be doing well and uh, don't get sidetracked from the fact that they have been uh, absolutely decimated in the, couple of, in, the, in the past couple of days or so. Uh, it may actually be an interesting addition to a portfolio and a useful one at that. So, let's see. The P ratio of the company at 25, uh, marginally where we'd like it to be, a little bit lower, it would be even better. Price to free cash flow ratio at 30 here. And outstanding sales which have been going down because the company has been buying back some stock. Very interesting. Now, a little bit of debt here, 13.8 uh, 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 times free cash flow to pay back all the total liabilities. That's quite significant here, we will examine that. But the five-year revenue growth has been increasing, the same with the net income growth here. Uh, the problem, five-year five free cash flow growth has been going down. So they have been losing on uh, cash flow, is interesting to see. And the total equity growth pretty much um, li almost linear here, nice to see as well. Not, uh, not uh, insane, of course, but pretty nice. Now, the company doesn't have a lot of debt, it looks like, actually. It's just that the, yeah, the problem with the total liabilities to free cash flow ratio is the fact that they were losing free cash flow. So the free cash flow went down, and this affects the free cash flow here. And so this is why we're, you are getting a lot of total liabilities compared to the free cash flow. We'll see what happened with their, with their free cash flow the last year, actually. But overall, they don't look to be having that much debt, and I kind of like to see that. And uh, their margins are very suppressed. It's very interesting to see. They're paying a 1.7 almost percent uh, dividend. And you will see here that uh, when compared to the free cash flow, it's elevated because they didn't make a lot last year. But their payout ratio is 47 percent. I'm, I'm willing to say this, this is probably OK. And they probably won't be having a lot of trouble with the dividend payments. And you will see here that they have been paying a lot of dividends pretty much through the years and significantly increasing it pretty much uh, oh, consistently every year. I'm not seeing a decline really here, which is a nice thing to see because uh, you're potentially looking at a safe dividend here. Okay, so let's go back now and examine. I want to see some things about the financial statements of the company, especially the free cash flow. But you will see here that the revenue has been increasing and uh, the net income has been increasing as well from 9.8 billion to 13.6 is what their bottom line is doing here. The balance sheet we examined that it's just increased by a little bit, 80 billion to 91 billion. Nothing to see here, doing well, and it looks like they're, they're actually uh, decreasing their debt uh, by substantially, actually, from 72 billion here to 57. Okay. And the cash flow statement here the net income is laid on top, but you will see that the net cash provided by operating activities has been affected a lot here. And uh, it's interesting to see what is what is happening, what is what are the details. And you will see that it's, it is inventory that actually caused this massive decline here, which uh, reduces the net cash provided by operating activities here substantially. And this is where we're getting a, 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 big, a big decline here in terms of uh, the net cash provided by operating activities uh, to, com compared to the previous year, as you'll see. Okay, so now we know Netcast Pro uh, used for investing activities. The company has been investing a little bit 
in mostly in uh, property, plant, and equipment. Uh, so capital expenditures here. And um, in terms of financing, they are paying back debt, which I like to see, especially at this current time. I like the I like to see them paying back debt. Their dividend pay their dividends paid here is what we examined earlier. And uh, when you compare it to their free cash flow, is what we looked at is about fifty percent, uh, pretty much, because their cash flow has been going down. But look at that. Uh, previous year was twenty five point eighty one. Their inventories really hurt them this uh, year, basically fiscal year two thousand twenty two. So this is what caused the decline here. So let's take a look at the stock evaluation tool and um, you're looking at the company as revenue growth being like two or three percent something of that sort so i'm gonna go low one two and three here in terms of the revenue growth the net income margins they are almost uh, consistently two percent here or, ne or similar to that so netting uh, let me find it here netting income margin about two percent every year i'm gonna go to 2.2 and 2.5 here and the free cash flow margin, you will see about uh, yeah 97 here, 81. It's a little bit all over the place. Uh, we're going to go somewhere in between. We're not going to go to the extremes, of course. But um, something like an 80, 90, and 100 makes a ton of sense. I annual return of 13%. And um, by 80%, remember that we are saying that uh, the free cash flow is going to be 80% of their net income. So if they make two... Uh, two percent this is going to be 80 percent of that two percent is what we're saying so hit calculate and let's see what we're getting okay so we're still expensive here for walmart i was kind of expecting that based on the pe and pr price to free cash flow that i've seen and um, i'm not extremely conservative here i think i'm i'm where i sh i am where i should be with these numbers so this uh, this looks very factual so in term in when you when i'm actually comparing walmart uh, and target i much prefer target based on their valuation this looks a little bit expensive to me at its current price even as it has dropped uh, quite significantly we're still looking at a high of 78 where we, while we're at 122 so uh, walmart for me right now is not a buy it's expensive and i'd like to wait for it to drop down much much more before i buy it if that happens of course so i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, you found it interesting please leave a like and subscribe if you are around here and uh, you can also take a look at the video that I made about Target earlier. You take a watch at that one, it's uh, interesting as well. And uh, thank you for being around, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.